Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve one new medical problem on three phase medium length transmission line. By solving this problem we shall learn how to determine generalized constants A, B, C and D of a three phase medium length transmission line based on its nominal T equivalent circuit when transmission line parameters are given. We shall also learn how to compute percentage voltage regulation and efficiency of transmission for this line using these constants when load details are given. A 50 Hz three phase transmission line has a total series impedance of 35 plus J times 140 ohm and shunt admittance of 930 micro -mohm. It delivers 40 megawatts at 220 kilo volts with power factor of 0 0.9 lagging. We have to determine sending and voltage current power and ABCD constants. We also have to compute percentage voltage regulation and efficiency of transmission using nominal T method. Let us first write down the given data. Power delivered to the load PL equals to 40 megawatts that is equal to 40 into 10 to the power 6 watts. Line to line receiving end voltage VR line equals to 220 kilo volts that is equal to 220 into 10 to the power 3 volts. For star connected system, receiving end voltage per phase, VR equals to VR line divided by root 3. That is equal to 220 into 10 to the power 3 divided by root 3. That gives us 127,017 volts. Given load power factor cos phi L equals to 0 0.9 lagging. Let us now calculate power factor angle. Phi L equals to cos inverse 0 0.9 that is equal to 25.842 degree. Expression for power delivered to the load PL equals to root 3 times VR line into IL cos phi L. Therefore load current IL equals to PL divided by root 3 times VR line into cos phi L. Using values we get 40 into 10 to the power 6 divided by root 3 into 220 into 10 to the power 3 into 0 0.9. That gives us 116.6364 ampere. Load current may be written in polar form as I L equals to I L at an angle minus phi L that is equal to 116.6364 ampere at an angle minus 25.842 degree. In this case load current I L equals to receiving end current I R given series impedance per phase of the transmission line Z equals to R plus J cell equals to 35 plus J times 140 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 144.3087 ohm at an angle 75.964 degree. And shunt admittance per phase Y equals to J times BC equals to 0 plus J times 930 micro -mohm. This may be written in polar form as 930 into 10 to the power minus 6 mo at an angle 90 degree. Let us now calculate Y into J. Using values we get 930 into 10 to the power minus 6 at an angle 90 degree into 144.3087 at an angle 75.964 degree that gives us 
0.134207 at an angle 165.964 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as minus 0 0.1302 plus j times 0 0.03255. Now we shall calculate 1 plus 1 fourth of y into j that is equal to 0 0.96745 plus j times 0 0.0081375. This may be written in polar form as 0 0.967484 at an angle 0 0.482 degree. For T equivalent circuit, A equals to D equals to 1 plus half of Y into Z that is equal to 0 0.9349 plus J times 0 0.016275. This may be written in polar form as 0 0.93504 at an angle 0 0.9973 degree. B equals to J into 1 plus 1 fourth of y into z. Using values we get 144.3087 at an angle 75.964 degree into 0 0.967484 at an angle 0 0.482 degree. That gives us 139.61636 ohm at an angle 76.446 degree and C equals to Y that is equal to 913 to 10 to the power minus 6 more at an angle 90 degree. Taking receiving and voltage per phase as reference we can write VR equals to 127,017 volts at an angle 0 degree. We have determined receiving end current IR equals to 116.6364 ampere at an angle minus 25.842 degree. And generalized constants for T equivalent circuit A equals to D equals to 0 0.93504 at an angle 0 0.9973 degree. B equals to 139.61636 ohm at an angle 76.446 degree and C equals to 913 to 10 to the power minus 6 more at an angle 90 degree. Expression for sending and voltage per phase Vs equals to A times Vr plus B times Ir. Using values we get 0 0.93504 at an angle 0 0.9973 degree into 127,017 at an angle 0 degree plus 139.61636 at an angle 76.446 degree into 116.6364. At an angle minus 25.842 degree, that gives us 129,083.28 plus J times 14,651.341 volt. This may be written in polar form as 129,912 volts at an angle 6.4755 degree. Expression for sending and current per phase IS equals to C times VR plus D times IR. Using values we get 913 to 10 to the power minus 6 at an angle 90 degree into 127,017 at an angle 0 degree plus 0 0.93504 at an angle 0 0.9973 degree into 116.6364 at an angle minus 25.842 degree that gives us 98.9662 plus J times 72.3033 ampere. This may be written in polar form as 122.5646 ampere 
at an angle 36.1513 degree on no load receiving end current IR equals to 0. Therefore, receiving end voltage per phase on no load VRO equals to Vs divided by A. Using values we get 129,912 at an angle 6.4755 degree divided by 0 0.93504 at an angle 0 0.9973 degree. That gives us 138,937.37 volt at an angle 5.4782 degree. Let us now calculate voltage regulation that is equal to VRO minus VR divided by VR. Using values we get 138,937.37 minus 127,017 divided by 127,017. That gives us 0 0.09385 per unit or 9.385%. We have computed sending and voltage per phase Vs equals to Vs at an angle delta equals to 129,912 volts at an angle 6.4755 degree and sending and current per phase Is equals to Is at an angle phi 1 equals to 122.5646 ampere at an angle 36.1513 degree. For star connected system, sending and current per phase equals to sending and line current and line to line sending and voltage Vs line equals to root 3 times Vs that is equal to root 3 into 129,912 which is approximately equal to 225 into 10 to the power 3 volts or 225 kilo volts. Phase difference between Vs and Is, phi S equals to phi 1 minus delta. Using values we get 36.1513 degree minus 6.4755 degree. That gives us 29.6758 degree. Let us now calculate sending end power factor cos phi s equals to cos of 29.6758 degree that gives us 0 0.86884 leading. Now we shall calculate sending end input power ps equals to 3 times ps into is cos phi s using values we get. 3 into 129,912 into 122.5646 into 0.86884 which is approximately equal to 41.5 into 10 to the power 6 watts or 41.5 megawatt. Now we shall compute efficiency of transmission. Eta T equals to PL divided by PS. Given power delivered to the load, PL equals to 40 megawatts. Therefore, Eta T equals to 40 divided by 41.5 that gives us 0 0.9638 per unit or 96.38%. So today we have solved one numerical problem on three phase medium length transmission line. By solving this problem, we have learned how to determine generalized constants A, B, C and D of a three phase medium length transmission line based on its nominal T equivalent circuit when transmission line parameters are given. We have also learned how to compute percentage voltage regulation and efficiency of transmission for this line using these constants when load details are known.
Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.